direction. All right, guys, so as told, we're going to show you the reverse thrust on this particular jet. Reverse thrust? Right. I don't see any tail feathers, no turkey feathers. Where, how does that work? Well, you set it up in your radio, and there's a couple of videos on YouTube that'll show you how to set it up. Brian Phillips does a great one. He calls it pilot fatigue because he has two settings, one of which is full reverse, and the other reverse is the throttle operated reverse, which is really cool. So if you come down with this airplane and you want to go full reverse to slow it down, you would hit that switch. If you wanted to then put it in pilot operated reverse, you could do that as well. So that's really cool. And that is all on my switch over here on my radio on my G switch. And Brian Phillips gives you a great video and an explanation on how to do that. So if you're wondering, you can go check it out and get yours done too. Um, also, most of these smart ESCs will do that, guys. So you can pretty much do it with a lot of different airplanes now. So check it out and watch, watch what you uh, can and get it done. So basically right now we are in forward thrust. I'm gonna turn the motor on. Motor on. And as you can see, we're moving forward. And now we're going to put Hold it on. in. Hold on, bring it to me. Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put it in pilot operated reverse. So, reverse thrust. now this is reverse control thrust, which means I control the amount of thrust as going backwards. So, I'm gonna show you this. <laughs> Well, it does great backwards wheelies. Hey, yeah, right? It's, it's caught up in this thicker grass. Our grass right here is really thick. Um, take it out to the runway. Let me take it out there. Let me pick it up. Don't move. Do what you're told. I would highly suggest using both controlled reverse and full reverse because if you are basically on asphalt or geotech or whatever, and you realize that you're gonna overrun the runway. If you go full reverse, it's gonna stop it quickly. Yeah. And then you can cut that off and go to controlled reverse, back up with a controlled backup thrust, turn around and come back towards you. So right. that's really nice to have. So like I said, the videos show you how to do it, but I, you did see it does work. Um, so that's does great cool. wheelies. Yeah, it does great wheelies. I love it. Do it again. Oh, no! <laughs> you have to put that in. You cannot delete that. Look what he did. Good thing those slide in, right? No, you glued those. No, they're sli they slide in. You take them off. That's what she said. See there? That's carnage right there. I'm telling you, right? Now, who are you going to blame? Myself. Okay. <laughs> I'll take that. All right, we found a short runway. All right, guys, so this is like geotech for a lot of people. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in reverse control thrust. Yeah, there he goes. Going to break the wing. Look at that! He just, you can't, what is wrong with you in reverse and like you're drunk? You break everything. Hey. At least it came right off and it just goes right back up there. Ever that's the third piece. Do it again. There you go. Break. Nice. Don't break the other one off. There you go. Okay. You done breaking stuff? Don't push you off. Yeah, no kidding. Done. Hey guys, Jeff here with Jeff's Custom RC and Wayne on the camera again back here, guys. Today we are going to be flying the incredible, awesome, amazing. Let's see, what else does everybody say about this plane? It's uh, slightly expensive. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Um, but it's supposed to fly incredibly great. So we're going to find out today. Um, it's supposed to be really fast, agile. It everybody looks really says, nice. Yeah, I mean, everybody says it's their favorite flying jet. Um, the lights on it are incredible. It also has reverse thrust, as I will show you later after the uh, Maiden. And um, we may do that when we come in, Wayne, and Ooh, slow it down. Wouldn't that be cool? Getting cocky um, on the first I know, flight. right? And um, it does have AS3X. This is the bind and fly version, guys. Um, great suspension on this airplane as well. Um, 
and we're flying a 6S 6000 HRB in it today, guys. So uh, I'm gonna take off in mid rates, I believe, and we'll see how that feels. May switch to high, try it out a little bit, but um, I'm gonna use a uh, takeoff flaps for takeoff, and we'll check things out once we get up there and get it dialed in. So let's do it. Sweet. Right. What's that bulge in the back of the pocket? Ah, uh, that's an empty wallet. Guys. Yeah. There you are. No trim whatsoever. Flies good. Doesn't have that whooshy sound like your Futura. Yeah, it's a little different, but it flies and it's you can tell it's so stable in the air. I mean I've not had to give it a single lick of trim so far. Stop bragging. We'll give it just a couple of plates of left. Out of the power, let it come down. Looks good. No power. Very Roll nice. Roll it over. Man, this thing is so stable, dude. I can't even tell you. Wouldn't know. You don't let me fly anything. Hey, you're welcome to fly anything I got, bro. Land it first. Ooh, nice. That was a nice one. And that's mid rates. It's good. It's beautiful. It looks really stable. It is so stable. It is scary stable. Sweet. Try a high rate roll. High rates. One minute. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure roll. Alright, I'm gonna come around, put in the gear just to kind of check things out. Show me some legs. Show me some of those sexy legs. Take all flaps in. I guess it's pretty much my choice right now. 30 seconds. Timer stopped. Almost dead stick. Sweet! Oh God! Oh man, let me just tell you, bud. Woo! I don't know. When you're talking to me, face the other way is you're a little happy. I can't even tell you, man. This thing is, I see why so many people love it, Wayne. I know, that was the maiden. Yeah. I see why people love this show. Thoughts? Um, everybody's right. I mean, I've heard nothing but great things about this airplane, and yeah, I mean, it, you could feel it the minute it took off. Man, man it was it, just stable from, I mean, literally, when it left the ground, it was just yeah, rock I mean, solid. It was just incredible. It's impressive. Fly. Amazing flyer, guys. Um, a lot of money to be what it is. Um, uh, that, uh, that was a landing with takeoff flaps. I did not even put in full flaps for that landing. Um, there was no weird tendencies with flaps. Um, CG seemed to be right CG on too. CG was spot on money. Um, like I said, that's a 6,000. <laughs> that was awesome. Um, it, I had no trim. I gave three clicks of left trim, guys. That was it. Um, no up or down trim, nothing else. Um, uh, yeah, everybody, the rumors are right, man. The rumors are right, man.
All right, guys, so I can't say enough good things about this airplane. Um, you know, the rumors are true. Uh, everybody has said that this plane flies amazing, and the minute it left the ground, guys, there was no question. I could feel it in the air. It just felt locked in. It felt great, stable. Um, flying with the AS3X stability um, did a fantastic job. It didn't seem, I gave it three clicks of left trim for the entire flight. I uh, came in with takeoff flaps and that was all it really needed and just about dead stick um, and landed perfect as you guys will see in the uh, video. Um, so I, I can't say enough good things about it other than the price is high, but you do get what you pay for. That being said, we're going to open her up, check the battery. I'll show you my CG guys. Um, this plane, I have a CG mark about right here where my finger is. But as you can see, I'm slightly forward of that. I just went with caution on the maiden flight, um, basically right on top of the third strap. And uh, using these two, this is a 6006S, as I said. So we're gonna check this battery for you guys now and uh, see if we can get this and uh, show you where we're at here and with this pack. And that was right at a three minute flight. I could have done a go around, I believe. Um, oh yeah, easy. Let's see. So here you go, guys, where are we at? Ooh, dang, you got uh, this little, same time as the other one? Uh, yeah, three. I had it set for three minutes. Yeah, so. no, I mean, uh, it's higher than the other one. Got yeah. more voltage left. Yeah. But, I mean, it flew great. And it, and it did, and that's why I say, I mean, I could have taken it for another probably a minute. Um, easily done another couple of go-arounds. As you can see, we've got the AS3X in here. All neat and clean. I'm about clean stuff um and guys i'll get um wayne to show you just so you can see this um if you want to flip the retract switch on the radio wing and uh show them the retracts on this thing i don't know your radio on this here do right, it guys, so here's your retracts nice super nice super bright light here guys as well um super nice hinges on your flaps and everything else so um coming yeah, down coming down Perfect. There you go, guys. And like I said, these gear are very robust, very stout. Yeah, I mean. Um, so, yeah. Um, no complaints, and this jet goes together. No glue, just a few screws. So, guys, like we told you in the last video of the unboxing of this jet, save your box because if space is a problem, you can box this back up in a matter of minutes with only about six screws and take it apart, put it back in your box for travel. You don't ding your plane, and you take it home without any scratches on it. And you can hide it from the wife like that, too, should you need to. Um, but uh, with that being said, guys, again, can't say enough good things about it. And uh, I'm Jeff, Jeff's Custom RC. Beautiful day out here at the field, and Wayne's on the camera. And we will see you next time.